Okay, here's a commercial man a man. So we're gonna put a new water pump on this one today. Uh, so that's kind of what it looks like. This this panel has to come off the front. Two screws down here. And you can see there's a little bit of water here. All the dust is cleared from the area. You may have a little bit of water dripping out the front of your machine. And so first thing we have to do, we're going to tip it back. So that most, if there's any water in the barrel, it's going to lean back and not be coming out these hoses as much. You're going to probably have to get a towel, uh, stick it under it because it's going to drip some water. And these are held on by Torx, Torx screws. I believe there's three Torx screws. Uh, three, three screws that hold that on. Hopefully it's not rusted on to the motor shaft. Um, I'm not going to take the whole motor off. You can take the whole motor off and do it that way. It's a lot easier. But I'm going to try and do it with the motor on. Okay, there's a little disclaimer for you. I was unplugged. And so, that's what I have on my Torx. And this back one is like really hard to get to. So, um, I got the two front ones. Or the front one and the side one. But I couldn't get that back one to get loose. So, I'm going to have to take that motor out. Yeah. I think I've done it before without taking the motor out. But I'm going to take the motor out. Okay, so, you're going to have to take the belt off. Off the main pulley back there. And be careful with the hoses. This sharp metal here. And and so here's how you access this pump. Basically, there's these three torques. And you pull those out, and it should come out. If it doesn't come out, then it could be uh, rusted onto the motor shaft, and you'll have to kind of bust it off. Um, if you're installing a belt, you don't necessarily have to take this off. You can simply cut one of these with a hacksaw, and then... Um, put the belt through and then put the the shim that you cut back cut off put it back when you mount it okay so this is basically the mid process the rest is just reinstall in reverse order okay this one we got a bad belt I just noticed it the belt's pretty much past its half-life at least and so this is kind of a lot of work. I'm going to actually put it back together and tell, tell the customer they need a belt later on pretty soon, whatever. Meanwhile, we can the machine supposedly still work. It's just that it was leaking. So we just tell her to order a belt. And then, yeah, here's the old one. It's, it's pretty uh, gnarly looking. It's grease from the motor. It's dust and water. Now I always gre grease these shafts just a little bit or put a drop of oil on them so the water pump doesn't stick. If they stick, you have to bust them apart and it's sometimes a hassle. Heat them up, bust them up. If you need any help, you can contact me 707-443-8347 Pacific Time. I give phone advice for $25. Thanks for watching.